Hello! These cards are not screenshotted from the game, but they are not handcrafted either. I made an inscription card generator, and these cards are generated on the fly. You provide a name, portrait, power, health, cost, tribes, sigils, decal, and a card type, and you get back a card extremely faithful to the cards from the Act 1 in the inscription. The best part, however, is that you can provide your own custom images which means that if you want to make your own card for maybe printing, you could use this tool to make an authentic looking card. I've made a few adjustments to allow for some more creativity. However, nothing which detracts from the authenticity of the card. You can have more than two sigils on a card, and you can have a card belong to as many tribes as you want. In-game, cards only belong to zero or one tribe, with the exception of Amalgam, which belongs to all. However, it is not available to the public just yet. My card generator is still a prototype and it's not completely solid just yet. It is actually just an API where you input data into the address bar. Furthermore, it doesn't do glowing eyes, golden card, stats greater than 9, talking cards or kraken attacks. I hope to iron out these flaws in the coming weeks by stabilizing the API and providing a robust website where you can easily input all variables for generating cards. In the future, I hope to make card generation for the other acts as well. So, uh, subscribe and... Did you know that terrain cards have their bottom bar shifted a bit to the left, but not the attack damage if they're buffed, but not at all if the card is a warrant?